continuing our uh, series on avionics training. I'm talking with Tom Harper at Avidyne. And Tom, you know, one of the uh, things that sort of makes people a little bit nervous about upgrading the modern avionics is dealing with the learning curve that tags along. You know, in a lot of cases, you can drop off your airplane and four weeks later pick it up. It's a different airplane. And a lot of folks get uh, concerned about even getting the airplane home because avionics shops are not in the training business. Uh, they might be able to give you a once over before they turn you loose. And you guys have been making the IFD series navigators for a number of years now, the IFD 440, 540, 550 series. Pretty deep uh, feature set in these in these uh, boxes, a lot of interface. And for somebody that hasn't upgraded in a while, it could be somewhat intimidating. And so what does Avidyne offer for training and what might you suggest for somebody making a big step up to an IFD navigator? Well, we Avidyne's really uh, taken that to heart and been pretty aggressive in our in our making our training available to end customers, especially in, even in the either in the pre-buy or while the airplane's being installed, they can be at home doing their trainings. So Avidyne's put together a pretty comprehensive training syllabus, if you will, or at least a bunch of opportunities to uh, get the kind of training that works best for uh, your situation. Uh, the first of which is the uh, iPad trainer, which is a free download from the iTunes store. It does require an iPad, but any size iPad will work. Uh, it actually, we took certified flight code and built a GUI interface and, a, and an iPad app around it. So it behaves just like the panel mounted unit. And you can select any of the six IFD models and it will emulate it. And if you have multiple iPads, you can actually connect them to your network to each other and play the IFD 100, which is our iPad app with the IFD trainer and actually uh, train at home like you would, uh, and it operates just like it would in the airplane. When you purchase an IFD, we send you uh, a, a welcome kit. And of course it has your pilot's guide in it and it has your jump drive for your nav updates and uh, your, uh, your uh, nice little leather pouch to keep everything in and your flight manual supplements. But you also get this little checklist and it has um, how to register your warranty, excuse me, how to register your warranty, how to get your 60 day free JEP trial, how to, um, how to download the iPad trainer if you haven't already done so. And then there's a bunch of links to learning to fly training videos, which I'll share with you here. But each of those has a, a video link with it so we can take you through all the steps of each of those. So we've got that kind of all integrated makes it super easy to get up and running quickly for, uh, for new owners. After you register your warranty, we mail you a copy of this book called Flying with the Avidyne IFD. It's written by Michael F. Bowers, a very accomplished regional airline pilot for many years and uh, manager of pilot training programs. Uh, incidentally, he, he was just a customer that purchased an IFD 540 for his airplane, he really liked it. And being the guy that thinks of the world from a training perspective, he decided to write this book. He reached out to us and asked if uh, we, he could use the trainer to get screenshots, et cetera. And it's a really great scenario-based training, which is a great way to learn, right? You jump in the airplane, I wanna go somewhere. How do I enter the flight plan? How do I take the clearance and put it in there? How do I deviate, enter a hold, all those things but it's in a scenario format. So that book is, is sent out uh, free of charge. Uh, it's also available on amazon.com for, I don't know, 45 bucks or something, but we'll include one with the, every IFD purchase. And it takes you through, here's kind of a layout of the different lessons. So the first six lessons are kind of the IFD basics, takes you through, and then you move into the advanced stuff for IFR flying and some power user settings too our videos. So what we did is we sat down with this book and, and made video vignettes of each lesson. So each of these videos is about four to six minutes long. So it's pretty quick and easy to digest. Uh, there's a couple of them that run maybe eight to 10 minutes, but most of them are pretty easy to watch and just follow along in your book and have your IF iPad there with the trainer app up and you can follow along and you'll be up and running in no time.
And these videos are available on the Avidine website under support. Uh, you can pull those videos up and follow along. We also do live webinars a couple times a month, sometimes more, but we also record all of our webinars. So those are available on our website under support on the on-demand training uh, webinar on demands, excuse me. Uh, so here it's got the IFD basics where we've taken you through uh, the kind of the first six lessons of the book. Then we've got a webinar that takes you through the, the next six lessons of the book. Um, there's other here, how to do use the setup pages, how to, how to set up your IFD 100, how to download and use the, uh, the IFD trainer. So those webinars and videos are all available. And this is all free of charge. These are not uh, paid trainings. Another handy resource pilots our customers find helpful is uh, what we call our pilot support and customer knowledge base. From the home page, you can click on this button right here called pilot support and download PDF copies of your pilot's guide if you want to put them on your iPad. Uh, it takes you through the 60 day uh, free trial for your JEP, get warranty information. If you have an operational question, just type it in. It'll take you to an article or to a video about whatever your particular subject is. Most people find it really helpful. On social media, we've got a lot of resources, including avidinelive.com, which is, we've had it around for, uh, gosh, all the way back to 08, 09, we launched Avidine Live as when we first launched release nine. Uh, so it's been around a while, but come sign on there and you can ask questions. We have engineers, product managers that'll answer your questions. That's a great resource. Uh, uh, we have a YouTube channel. If you just did a search under Avidine Avionics, and here you can find quick little video vignettes like, okay, uh, you know, how do I enter a hold? Just that subject, and there's a video on how to enter a hold, how to load a flight plan, how to uh, uh, do rubber band flight plan editing. So uh, lots, of, lots of resources available on YouTube. And to your point, uh, talk, bouncing off other folks, we uh, have an Avidine Pilots Club. We launched over a year ago now, probably two years ago, and actually two years ago, what would have been Oshkosh. Uh, uh, but it's a great resource for not only customers, but folks looking to buy Avidine. But uh, you'll find a lot of times people will go on there and ask a question. And before, and we monitor it daily, but before we get an answer, there's, you know, five customers that are piping in going, hey, well, no, this is how you ought to do it. But yeah. Nate, I found it's easy to do this. And so you really get uh, a community around, uh, around training and, and a lot of enthusiastic folks. And they'll put up if they have an issue or a problem. And we've got customer support folks are on there. So you'll find that really helpful. And we just launched a Latin American version as well about six or eight months ago. So. You know, you've been doing this a long time and been uh, been immersed in, in Avidine technology. You've seen the IFDs grown over the years. What are some of the more common areas that pilots may trick up that you might suggest paying particular attention to in your focus training? One of the things we did was um, when we developed the IFDs, we kept like the main five or six things that if you came from a legacy navigator, especially obviously a GNS navigator, because we, we did a slide in replacement, but even though if you came from a KLN 90 or something, if some, some legacy GPS, there's certain functions that kind of operate the same among all the legacy navigators. Uh, you know, you're entering a basic direct to loading an approach, uh, basic flight plan. Uh, and we kept all that the same. So, uh, we feel, you know, and tuning the radio, obviously, if you're going from coming from a GNS. Uh, so we kept all that the same, but there are some shortcuts and some ways to do it faster and easier. So folks are, are you know, we'll, we'll call and ask about that. But, uh, you know, loading a flight plan uh, is, is obviously, it's like anything, there's sometimes there's a, uh, what do you call that, a paradigm shift, right, where you, you're used to doing things a certain way uh, where an older navigator may have a chapter and page kind of thing. And now we, Avidine's got this page and tab user interface. It's a lot less nested menus, but it's still different and uh, requires a little bit of transition. 
Yeah, and worth mentioning is that uh, the IFT boxes maintain that hybrid user feature set. So just about everything you can do with touch, you could also do with hard controls and buttons and knobs. So, you know, there are several ways of skinning the cat. But we do have some influence on social media. A lot of folks follow 310 Pilot, Baron Pilot, Martin Pauly. These guys are maybe less training, but th that shows them using the product in real life situations. And you, you can pick up little tidbits from them on sometimes. And I wanted to include uh, this as well. Uh, Gary Reeves has been a training partner with Avidyne for several years. And if you're really serious and want to want to be the Zen master of your Avidyne, uh, Gary has put together not only an eight-hour mastery course, but he also has a course where he will he can fly to you and train you in your airplane over a three-day period and uh, you know, get you a nice training certificate on that. So Gary's a very accomplished master CFI, national instructor of the year in 2019. And he has a, makes a business of doing that. And this would be a, train, uh, a, a paid training service, but Gary's really good. And, and uh, it's worked really well for a lot of our customers who choose to go that route. The uh, M0A is a flight school down in Florida that we partner with. They've got a very well-equipped Avidyne panel with Dynon uh, PFD, but uh, you can learn to fly uh, the Avidyne system there as well. We're doing some, some good technical training stuff as well. In fact, we just launched an interactive installation manual for our dealers and uh, a 10-module Avidyne Academy so that if a dealer brings on a new tech, we're going to recommend that all of our dealers, even if they've been doing installs for years, but we're going to recommend all of our dealers go through this. It's about 10 hours of video training. It's available through our dealer portal, but it'll take them through uh, how to do business with Avidyne, all the stuff, the you know, the back end stuff like RMAs and, and purchase orders and all that. But then it, there's a, the meat and potatoes is, is technical training, how to interface with EFA systems, with traffic systems, ADSB. Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty comprehensive training curriculum, about 10 hours worth, and that'll help them with their part 145 training requirements. And uh, that's, uh, we kicked that off earlier this year, earlier this month, and it's going live hopefully by Friday <laughs> for the dealers. That's that's good. Well, yeah, you know, the learning curve is a reality for everybody, and uh, looks yeah. like looks like uh, Avidyne certainly has it covered. You could look for a full report on avionics training in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. And uh, thanks a lot for uh, talking with us, Tom Harper, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Larry. Take care.